What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm back at that spot in Benita. It's the spillway where uh, I caught that, I caught a largemouth bass here in one of my videos. I'm gonna go and try and cast net some bait and see what we can do. The rig I'm using today is the uh, same as always, 30 pound liter. And then I'm gonna do a uh, 3-0. This one's a Gamakatsu 3-0 um, octopus hook. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we get some big old snookers. So much chat. Anyways, it's so loud here. I'm rigging up now. We're gonna try and get some bait and then see if there's any snook around. Hopefully there is. I'm gonna try and cast net some bait, even though there's rocks everywhere. But that's what the Walmart cast net's for. Just gonna give it a shot here. See what happens. There's something in there. It's not a rock. I'm gonna have to get in the water. Oh, there's some massive slop, yeah. This guy might work for bait. I'm gonna save him. Definitely felt some ripping, so I don't know where, but I mean, oh, it's down there. It's kind of messed up. Whatever. Just gonna blind cast down here and see. That's horrible. You got a perfect size little tilapia. I oh, don't know, that's a bluegill. That's even better. Look at that thing. Or it's like some sort of sunfish. I don't really know my, uh, my sunfish that well, but I know something will eat that. All right, we got our baits. The little sunfish bluegill thingy and that cichlid. That cichlid's too big. I mean, he, yeah, he's, he's too big. I'm gonna use the this little sunfish thing. And I have seen people hook up on snook here years ago, so maybe they're in here. What? We lose our bluegill that fast? No! We lost the bluegill slash sunfish. What? No, he was the chosen one. That thing was so perfect. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, I'm gonna just throw this cichlid in there just cause, I don't know, maybe something will eat him. He's like right on the verge of being too big, but I don't really know. I don't feel like going to cast netting just yet and I figure I might as well just try him. Yeah, that'd be so cool if we caught a big snook today. I would love to catch me a big old snook. A big old giant schnook. A wee. Oh, he just got eaten. Something tried eating him. Oh yeah, he just got smashed. Yeah, we're on. It's a big fish, heavy fish. I don't know what it is. It's got a lot of weight to it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Why is this fighting so crazy? So crazy weird. It's not doing crazy runs like a snook would. It's like a bulldog. What is this? What are you? I mean, it's super strong. This might be a big snook. Big, whatever it is. Oh yeah. Goodness. No, come on, turn around. Come on. That's a big snook. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, don't get up in there. That current's crazy. Come on. Right, turn him around. Yeah, that's a big snook. Oh man, this thing is strong, guys. So strong. Oh yeah, it's a big boy. I see him up there. Oh, it's a big fish. This is crazy. This is exactly what we wanted. Now he's going out. Yep, big snook. Look at that. That's upper 30s right there. So I'm gonna get down on these rocks. I think it's probably 38. It's gonna look smaller on the GoPro than it actually is, which is really sad, but. I'll get him up here and get the, the real camera on him. He's hooked not the best, so I'll try and keep his head up. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Get me face. Gotcha. All right, so the big, the big snook like this, guys, really make sure that, um, I mean, if they're over like 30 inches or whatever, I mean, any snook really, you should always support the belly. When they're big like this, they're organs. They're not meant to be, you know, held straight up and down, obviously. That's not very natural for the fish to do that. So just when you handle them, I mean, pictures and all that are great, but if you kill the fish, it's not really that cool. So always just try and handle them right. And when you take them out of the water, make sure you get their belly nice and supported so you don't kill them. Cause they might swim off, but if their internal organs and guts are all messed up, then probably not gonna live that long. All right guys, so yeah, obviously, that's a big fish. I'm not gonna take the time to measure her, but uh, I mean, she's pretty big. I'm out of breath. Uh, anyways, yeah, she ate that big old uh, that giant cichlid, which I didn't think was gonna happen, but it just shows big baits do catch big fish sometimes. It worked out really well. All right, I don't wanna take any more time, so I'm gonna get her back in the water. Sweet. All right, so obviously it doesn't really need to be said probably, but big fish like this, always take the time to revive them. This is kind of cool because there's so much current that uh, I don't really have to spin around in circles and all that, but she's got a scar on her head. I don't know if she didn't really bang her head up on any rocks or anything, I don't think, so I guess I gotta watch the video again, but I hope that's not for me. Even if it is, it's not that bad. Other than that, for a uh, spillway fish, this thing's actually really pretty. Usually they're all beat up and I mean this one looks pretty. It's got some stuff on its back, but this one looks really good. So she's starting to like bite down on my my thumb, which they say is when they're good to go. So let's see. Let's see if I just let her go what she does. Oh yeah. She looks good. Yeah. Sweet. Just swam off good. A little tired, but she looks like she's gonna be totally fine. Sweet guys, we did it. That was like super fast. I came here, threw the cast net a couple times and hooked up on a big, uh, big snook. Couldn't really have gone any better. <laughs> that was cool. Woo, I am so out of breath. I still, I haven't fished in a while, like hardcore fished in, in a little while. I took a, I took some time off, probably almost a year or so. I still get super, and I get the jitters and I get super excited with, especially with fish like that. I mean, even before I would have, I would have got all, you know, excited over that, but uh, I didn't really expect to come in here and just do it that fast. Um, it's it's kind of like, I don't know, I have the rest of the day now. I don't know if I want to just call it good and just go home or, I almost feel like we should just take that and, and run with it. So that's going to be it for this video probably. Uh, I was just walking over here real quick because last time I made a video here, there was a big old iguana. I wanted to see if he was home. That doesn't look like he is. Uh, but yeah, caught that big snook. That was super cool. You guys might be like, why don't you do anything other than spillway fishing? And you know, freshwater snook, and I do. But right now is when our spillways in Southwest Florida are all overflowing, which brings all the big snook and uh, the tarpon up to them. So you gotta kind of fish everything while you can. And then obviously once the, uh, you know, the water level's lower, I'll go do other stuff. Um, I'm still doing other stuff right now, uh, but it's just, I'm doing this the most because you gotta take the opportunity while you can. Um, I guess I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.